That again was hatch closing at 324, and since then, this will use undocked from the International Space Station at 6.32 p.m. Central Time. Before doing that, they were able to get all the required leak checks and preparations done on time, and that set them on their way for today's 9.55 p.m. Central Landing. They've since been moving into position about 20 miles away from the space station and are just about ready to go for the deorbit burn, which will take place at 9 p.m. Central, just 24 minutes from now. It'll be coming up very soon at this point. Three point five miles per hour. And you can see Soyuz has now touched down in Kazakhstan, nine fifty four PM Central Time. After one hundred ninety six days in space. 3,136 orbits and 83 million miles. Chris Cassidy, Anatoly Ivanishin, and Ivan Bogner are home. Again, that landing coming at 9.54 p.m. Central Time, just a smidge early. Crew now safely on the ground. 9.54 p.m. Central Time was the, the landing point. Uh, that wraps up Chris Cassidy's third trip to space and his second long-duration mission. He spent 15 days in space during STS-127. He and the other crew members will be gathering over the next few minutes. Uh, we'll try and get this uh, video for you directly as well, but uh, but that was great to see him uh, see him emerging from the capsule. Um, Rob, I know that this is a little bit different from you, for you uh, now, and we'll keep watching for uh, Anatoly Venetian, who should be up next. You can see a few of the NASA personnel who are gathered out at the landing site. Uh, all of these uh, groups will be making their way back to uh, Rob Navius and uh, uh, meeting them, and, and Jessica's gone, as he mentioned a moment ago. And there is an Antoli Evanition as well out on the capsule. All the crew members looking good. As you can see, as, uh, as Rob mentioned, all the people who were meeting them there wearing masks to help protect them, an additional layer of protection and, uh, beyond uh, the quarantine that uh, these, these uh, members of the landing team would have gone through as well. Rob, if you're still there, I, I, I don't know um, what it is for you in Karaganda, but it looks like the weather's pretty pleasant for the team at the landing site. Yeah, the landing time temperature, Brandy, was about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. A cold front moved through this region uh, late yesterday and overnight and passed uh, just to the east of the landing zone just in time for touchdown. It is cloudy here in Tarragonda, uh, but uh, we're in Jessica's down where we're headed here a short time from now. Uh, the sun should be out. The landing occurring one hour and three minutes after sunrise, and uh, as we speak, uh, the pilots, the NASA pilots out of Bellington Field nearby the Johnson Space Center are revving up the engines for this NASA Gulfstream jet and will be taking off a short time from now. It's looking like the crew members might be moving into the medical tent before too long as well. We just saw the uh, landing team there uh, 
it, pausing for a, a group photo. Again, everybody looking really good for having just spent 196 days in space. Though we didn't get a video of uh, the landing itself, we did get reports and you can just make it out there in the background uh, behind the crowd. The, the Soyuz did land upright and uh, were able to get confirmation from the teams who met them that uh, the crew was feeling well. And now we're able to see that for ourselves. Everybody looking like they are uh, they are feeling good and should be able to to move on to the medical tent before too long. Rob, do you know if uh, Cassidy has made any special request for food that uh, the team members might have ready for him on the plane? That's a great question, Brandy. And actually, in true SEAL fashion, he made no request. He said whatever was on board uh, would be just fine. As I, as I mentioned, we will have one refueling stop on route to Houston in which there will be some catering of food uh, for the passengers on board, including Cassidy. I think he's just happy to be home after 196 days in space. Seeing uh, Anatoly Ivanishin right now, but yes, all the crew members are looking pretty happy to be home. Team members still uh, unloading some of the limited cargo that the Soyuz is able to carry as well. And Ivanishin there being the first to move off towards the medical tent. This again is a tent that is uh, brought uh, with the team that meets the Soyuz at the landing site so that they can get into a protected area to uh, change out of their Sokol spacesuits and uh, go through a few uh, preliminary tests before they then will get on the helicopters for that 40 minute ride that Rob mentioned. Back to Jessica's gone, where they'll be met by planes to take them back to their various homes. Even Nishin and Wagner both on their way now to the medical tent. You can see what that tent looks like in this view. Chris Cassidy looks like uh, making a, a phone call back to home and now on his way to the tent as well. Crew members are. Uh, are carried in the chairs just to be extra safe and prevent any possibility of a, a trip as they are experiencing gravity again for the first time in 196 days. Saw so there the crew members uh, making their way into the medical tent. That is the last that we'll see of them tonight. Uh, once again, today's landing wraps up a 196 day stay in space for the members of the Expedition 63 crew. With that 196 days added to his total, Chris Cassidy has now spent 378 days in space over the course of three missions. That puts him Number at number five on the list of time spent in space for U.S. astronauts. Anatoly Ivanishin, meanwhile, uh, also having made three journeys to space now, now has a total of 476 days in space, landing him a spot 
on uh, the all-time uh, list at uh, at the 25th place, and Yvonne Wagner uh, 